Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial that will show you how to easily remove and add snow. I shot this footage on a snowy day, and what I want to do is I want to add in this matte painting of this couple standing on the balcony. I've also busted up the glass in their balcony a bit, but you can see when the shot is in motion, I have a bit of a problem because I have snow going everywhere, really fast moving on my plate, but over here where I've created my still frame, I don't have any moving snow. In fact, I have a bit of snow stuck here on the black edge that's a snowflake. Um, so I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to first remove the snow so I can use it for my still frame uh, and have a nice looking clean plate, and then also add the snow back on top. So if I wanted to do this the slow way, I could take my frame hold I have here and try to paint out all these little snowflakes using a paint node, um, but there is a faster way to do it and I'll show you how. So I'm using a frame blend technique. First thing I'm going to do is that I stabilized my plate. This corner pin is using four corners to stabilize my plate. How you stabilize with a corner pin is that you make sure that in the corner pin tab you don't have any animation on your keyframes, but in the From tab, this is where you have all your tracking information. So at frame 1007, the numbers will be the same, 1577, and everything in the From tab will be animated. <clears throat> so now that I've stabilized using my corner pin, I'm going to use a tool called Frame Blend. What Frame Blend does is that it blends frames that are next to each other on the timeline and it blends them all together. So what this is doing is it's taking my stabilized plate and it's blending all the frames together, which easily removes all the snow. Now the reason this is working is because when you compare the frames that are next to each other, the snow is constantly moving. So no one frame is the same, but what is staying the same is my stabilized background, my stabilized building. So that's why the frame blend is working awesome for removing the snow here. Some frames are working better than the others. You'll find that if you go to frame 1001, you'll still see all the snow. And the reason for that is the first frame of my shot is 1001. So the frame blend doesn't have any prior frames to pick up on and you'll get a much better result in the middle of the shot because it's using all the frames that are on the um, right hand side of the timeline and all the frames on the left hand side of the timeline and blending them all, to all together in time to create this unified look. So now I chose uh, a shot that was in the middle of my shot and then what I did is I used that same corner pin, this is the exact same track, but now I'm using it to match move and the only difference between this stabilize and this match move is that the animation is in the corner pin 2D tab and the from has no animation. So they're kind of reverse in that way. So I'm stabilizing and then also adding that match move back on top. So the result that I get is my shot still has the same camera move, but I've got all my snow removed. So that's perfect. That's what I can now use for my frame hold. Now I can use a frame that's clear of snow. Okay, perfect. So that removed my snowflakes that were stuck on my frame hold. Now the only problem is getting the snow back on top. So how I'm doing that is I'm still using this frame blend technique that I've used before, but I'm not doing a frame hold. I've got it where it's got the match move animation on it, so it's matching with the camera. And then I'm also got the plate plugged into the A input of my minus. This is a merge set to the operation minus. And what this is doing is it's kind of like a difference key. If you're familiar with difference key, it's a similar concept where the minus is calculating the difference in pixels between my cleaned snowflake plate with my frame blend and the plate that still has all the snowflakes on it. So we're just taking a minus calculation and that's picking up on all the snowflake difference between those two plates. So that makes it very easy to, what's the opposite of minus? Plus it back on top of my clean frame I have here. So there's my snow getting added back on top. So here's my final result with the snow added back on top. You can see that the integration is much better now that we have all the snowflakes in. You could almost say that my matte painting looks like it was already in there when it was shot on camera. 
So you can actually use this technique for things like rain, anything that's uh, falling into frame, and that you can use this frame blend technique. I've also used this minus and plus technique to add grain back in if you use the degrain tool, and then you can actually sometimes minus and plus grain back in and it'll work that way. One thing to know about the frame blend is that it can sometimes become really slow. So you might want to render out your frame blend using a pre-comp. That can help speed up your script so that you're not slowing down your whole script because this frame blend is calculating 30 frames at once, so it can make your script really slow. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more quick tutorials from me in the future. Check out my full Udemy course in the link below. It'll teach you all about channels, the math behind the merge node, and everything you wanted to know about how to get great looking Roto.